Hi there and welcome back. Today's video is on the Y replacement attraction kit for the Y trap that captures wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. If you missed the first video on the unboxing of the trap and setting up, I will link it in this video. So in the last video, we left on leaving the trap out for a week and a half, capturing all these wasps. Today, we're going to be opening up this trap to see how many wasps we captured and using a replacement package to set up this trap for another two weeks. Before opening these containers, make sure all of your wasps are dead because the last thing you need is to be stung. We probably could have left the trap up a few more days. But because there's so many wasps inside, we figured may as well clean it out and reload it. Also, you can check out the video on spraying the wasp nest and look for the next video after that, opening the wasp nest to see how many wasps are inside. Check out all the wasps that we got from the bottom chamber. Next, we'll be opening up the top chamber. The vial looks like it has quite a bit of scent still in it. This is probably why they have more than just one hook. For when you buy the replacement packages, you can just add another vial. So he's just pulling out all the dead wasps and it looks like we also got a moth. We are going to leave this liquid in the container and just add on to it. As right away when we open the container, you can definitely smell the strong scent. The scent is what attracts the wasps, hornets, or yellow jackets. Also with the little disc felt pad, we're just going to be reusing that as well because it still smells and it's still clean. So we'll just be adding the liquid to it that we added before. So here's the new replacement kit that you can purchase at Canadian Tire or off of their website or anywhere else they sell the Y trap. This video is not sponsored, it's just something we've used, tried, and it really works. And figured if you have a wasp problem, you may want to pick one of these up. So in the replacement package, it comes with everything that was in the Y trap when we first bought it. It comes with the vial and two pouches. The only thing I don't see it come with is another felt pad. So you will have to just keep reusing the felt pad you already have. So with the yellow attraction tube, this one goes on the felt pad. Oh yes, and if you're wondering how many wasps we captured, in the first round of having the Y trap up for only a week and a half. Well, we ended up capturing 51 wasps and one moth, along with a few little flies. Now opening up the attraction vial, we're just gonna connect it on the clip alongside the other one that is still there. Having two of them on will make it a stronger scent. Now with the green attraction vial, we're going to be putting that up in the top chamber and then adding water. Remember to only fill it up to the start line. If you notice when you put the cap on, that's why you only fill it up to the start line because the vials, you don't want them sitting under the water. And then you can hang it back up. 
So we'll see how long it takes before we capture some more wasps. It's only been five minutes and we captured a wasp. I find the second time around this trap smells a lot stronger, probably also because we added more scent. Here is day two. So we're starting to capture quite a bit of little flies. Looks like we have some dead wasps and some live ones. So now that the nest is gone, this is a great time to have this up, capturing any wasps that are left over, so they don't start building a nest. Now I'm not sure in other people's yards if they do have a nest or not, because we're still capturing quite a bit of wasps. Here is day three. We're going to leave this trap up for at least a good two weeks this time. So if you want to stay tuned, I will make another video on revealing how many wasps we captured after the two weeks. And it looks like this time we caught a wasp on top a lot faster than we did last time. This might be because the top part was a lot stronger with the two vials. I definitely give this trap a two thumbs up and recommend it to anybody that needs to get rid of wasps. I think this is a great product and I'm happy that we found it. If you can see on the bottom, there actually is a wasp down there that is dying on the pad. And if you look really close, you can see all their little stingers on the back side. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for all new videos. And make sure not to miss out on the next video, seeing what's inside the wasp nest. Check out my channel for more videos. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later.